No More Newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to download free and non-copyrighted music from YouTube to give you more options with your PS4 gameplay and montages. If you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make awesome gaming videos using ShareFactory plus learn how to do more on YouTube and other PS4 related stuff then this is the channel for you. So please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Okay so this is the third video on how to add music to your project so if you haven't seen the other two the links are on the top of the screen now or in the description or in the playlist. So we are going to be downloading music from YouTube directly so in order to do that we do need a laptop and a memory stick. Click your YouTube profile picture and then YouTube studio and then you can just scroll across to the left hand side and use this bar to bring it down and what you're looking to for is audio library which is there so you just click on audio library and then that takes us to an audio library that gives us lots of different options for music that we can download and you can see there it says browse and download free music for your project okay so we've got lots of different categories that we can choose from lots of songs that we can choose from so you've got genre mood instruments duration and then this bit here says attribution so if you put attribution required then that means you do need to put um, a note in your description linking the name of the artist and the song's details. If you put attribu attribution not required then you do not need to put anything in your description to say who the song is from and that. Okay, so on this one we've put attribution not required, we've changed the duration of the time we wanted and we've put dramatic as the mood that we want to go for. So it then gives us all the lists of songs that we could use and if you click on one of the songs it says you're free to use this song in any of your videos. So that is all showing you free music that YouTube just puts on the channel for you to use for your own purposes and you do not need to have special permission because it's saying you it's free uh, for you to use in your projects okay so I found this um, music track here that I liked extinction level event and you can just press play and hear it as you um, want to and you can just go through them to find the ones you want but I found this one I'm going to pause it and I want to download it so I'll go across to this arrow uh, down over here and it says download so you click on that and then that will download it so it all depends on your laptop that you're using but mine comes up here and there's a little arrow and I click on the arrow and then I want to get this onto my folder so it says show in folder so I'm going to click on show it in folder then this it puts it into my folders on my laptop here and what we want to do is have a folder um, we have put the USB into the laptop and we want to create a folder called share factory and within share factory folder we want to create another folder and um, we haven't got one yet so I'm going to put it in so you go to new and folder and then you can type in music confirm that and then what we want to do is just get hold of the new music clip and drag it straight across into the music folder and once you've done that you let go and you will then see that it completes and when it completes you can click on the music folder and just check it's in there and there it is it's sat there waiting for us so that's us done on the laptop we now want to go across take the USB stick out and put it into your PlayStation and we want to go down to import content and then import music and then on import from USB we click on that and then that's the uh, track, the only track we've got in there. So we want to push cross and square to make the import happen. Once it's done you'll see it sat in there as most recent. So that's now imported from the USB stick into the PlayStation itself. So we can then go into our video project and so we go up to videos and I've already got a project that I've put in there just quickly to show you. So my projects this is the clip that we're going to use okay and it's this is only a basic clip just to quickly show you how to do it so we're not doing anything fancy okay we're just going to add the music now so we're going to push the cross button in order to add something so cross button and then go across to add music and then that's the you see it's got a little face next to it that's the uh, the track that we chose and then you can just push play and then you can hear that we've got that playing in the background okay 
so different options we can do this isn't anything fancy like I said you can play about and we'll get more advanced and we can do that at a later on a later video okay but this is going to just show you how to add it and do some basic things for uh, to start with okay so basic editing then what we're going to do is just look for a position on the music we want to split so we're going to split the clip by pushing the square and then split clip and then we just confirm that we want to split it and then we move to the left a bit that we don't want push square and press delete so that gets rid of that bit okay and then what we can do is use the uh, square button to just click on um, there, there we go. Uh, so we go into uh, push the square button, and then we go on to move music. Okay, so we'll click on move music, and then we can move the music to or across our video to wherever we want it to start. Once we've done that, we push the cross button, and then that bit is done. We can then go into looking at other areas. So if we click on the cross button again, we can go into. Um, let's just do that cross across and then we go into fade in so that will make the music fade in rather than just suddenly stop uh, starting from silence and then going into full-blown music so that will just fade in you can choose the time how long it's fades in for there you go so that faded in nicely there and then you can do the end at the uh, same at the other end now this clip actually fades out automatically but let's show an example of how to fade out so we just split the clip so we push the uh, square button and then we just go to split the clip and confirm and then we can delete that part same as we did before and then we click uh, the square button and then we can then do a fade out on this one as well okay so because you can see it suddenly just stops so let's push square fade out change it to however long we want push confirm and then that will just fade out nicely for us there okay there you go okay so then what we can do is change the music volume to whatever we want and then prioritize there then that will just prioritize this music over other things like the gameplay or commentary that you might have that apply all on the screen there as well that says if you've got multiple music tracks you can apply it to all of the tracks so that it's all the same volume there okay what we did there as well we just cloned the clip as well and that just means that we've got two of the same clips starting um, back to back so once one of them fades out the other one will fade back in and start from there okay you could delete the clip also as well so totally up to you and that is very much the uh, the main parts of editing the music on the screen there for you we will do more advanced stuff as well but let's get into shout out of the day so shout out of the day goes to vessel 87 vessel 87 has been commenting lots on my video so i really do appreciate it thank you so much please check out their channel and if you do like what their content please do consider subscribing so that's it for today and if there's any questions or anything do say it in comments I hope you've liked this and if you have hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks very much and bye.